In this video, I'm going to be covering how to calculate variance by hand. So the first thing we're going to look at is this original variance formula. And um, as we know, um, variance is the average squared distance away from the mean. So what it's saying is um, we look at every data point, we look at how far it is away from the mean, we square that, we sum that up for all of the data points, and then we divide by the number of data points. Now, um, while this formula is very good at explaining the meaning behind variance, in practice, it's quite hard to work with when we're calculating it by hand, just because there's, um, there's a lot to put into the calculator. So there's actually another form that makes this much easier, which is this second one over here. And what this one says is, um, we look at every unique value um, or unique data point. Uh, we square that, we multiply it by the frequency, how many times it occurs. We divide by the total number of data points and then we uh, take away the mean squared. Now, um, this formula doesn't really explain the intuition behind variance too well, but it's much easier to work with um, when we're putting it into the calculator, which we'll see in a second. But as long as we understand the um, where variance comes from, we can just use this formula just fine. And as um, the standard deviation is still the same, it's just the square root of the variance. So we're going to do a question. And the question says there are 14 students studying in the library and they're surveyed and we record what year they are in school um, in the table. So looking at this here, there are two year seven students, there's one year eight student, there's four year nine students, there's three year 10 students, two year 11 students and two year 12 students. Um, and we wanna find the variance and the standard deviation. So the first thing we wanna do is, as always is to find the mean because that's a required calculation for both, um, both of these summary statistics. And the mean is just the sum of each uh, data point divided by n. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to multiply each unique value by its frequency just to save um, a little bit of time. So there are two year seven students, there's one year eight student, there's four year nine students, there's ten, uh, three year ten students, two year eleven students, and two year twelve students. I sum all of those up and then I divide by the total number of students, which is 14, they've told us up here. So, and that is equal to sixty seven on seven, which is approximately nine point five seven rounded to two decimal places. So we have our mean, now we can move on to variance. And let's use the new formula, which is the sum of each unique data point squared, multiplied by its frequency, divided by n, take away the mean squared. And that is equal to seven squared, multiplied by two, plus 8 squared multiplied by 1, plus 9 squared multiplied by 3, plus 10 squared, sorry, it's 9 squared multiplied by 4, 10 squared multiplied by 3, 11 squared multiplied by 2, and 12 squared multiplied by 2, all over 14, and then we take away the mean squared. Minus 67 on 7 squared. And I'm going to chuck that into the calculator. Eight squared times one plus nine squared times four, ten squared times three plus eleven squared times two plus twelve squared times two on fourteen. Take away sixty-seven on seven squared. And I get 117 on 49, which is approximately 2.39, rounded to two decimal places. Now, this is still a pretty big um, calculation, but I'm just gonna demonstrate what it would look like if we use the original formula. 
we would have seven take away 67 on seven squared plus seven again minus 67 on seven squared plus eight take away 67 on seven squared blah 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 all the way to um, um, to uh, the 14th student and then we divide it all by 12 and that blows up to a much bigger calculation um, as you can see um, we've only done the first three values and there's still 11 more to go so that's why we use this second formula instead now um, in order to find the standard deviation very simple we just take the square root of our variance i'm going to use the fraction because it makes it a bit more accurate so 117 on 49 i get 1.55 two decimal places so in summary um, when we're working out variance and standard deviation by hand we prefer this second formula that we've learned rather than the original one which is more uh, intuitive in terms of what variance actually means.